Hello guys, welcome to another new video. So today I wanted to do a casual look where I just show you guys what products I use and I just talk through the video and I just do my whatever I do and I show you how I got this look. So this is my everyday go-to look um, I wanted to share with you guys and I want to show you which products I use and how I do the things. I'm not sure if it's the right way but that's the way I do it. So I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like this video please give this video a thumbs up and if you want to see more videos from me feel free to subscribe as well. And yeah, let's just get into it. No. My lips are so dry, so I felt like it needed a little remedy. So I saw this and I was like, oh, let's try this because it is really dry, you guys. I'm a little bit in a hurry, but. So. Yeah, I'm not gonna use the uh, concealer, I'm only using the color correcting part because that's. Um, the, the concealer didn't look good on me, it was too bright. But I'm just gonna add it here. I have like an ashy spot and around my mouth. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna look like uh, and here. I have like ashy spot wherever I remove uh, facial hair. Then under my eyes, of course, there, it's a little dark compared to the rest. So it's gonna look like this. Oh, well, that's nice. Wait, I need a mirror for this one. Okay, so let me just check if I did it right, because I can see. Yeah, okay, so I'm just gonna... I'm using the Real Technique uh, sponge. It just... Um, the reason... Delani made a po blog post on this, so I'll link that down below. It, it, like, what color correction, like color you need, and why you need color correction and stuff. i just link it down below, but the thing is, my skin is ashy wherever I remove facial hair and then under my eyes I have dark bags and so my complexion is the red orange one so that's what the one I use so if I use when I use foundation over that it looks like more like my skin tone than ashy for my foundation yeah, I'm gonna use MAC and it is a Pro Longwear foundation in NC44 is it? NC44. Usually use two plum and I'm only focusing on the areas I don't like I want to hide, which means all the places I have to use color correcting them, so the places I really want to hide. I don't really care about the chin and stuff, but I will apply a little bit up there though. And I am going to take one more plum because I want full coverage like here. I don't like, I, I hate actually, but because of the facial hair, I hate when I don't have more here, so that's what I'm going to do. Usually, like, one plum is enough, but uh, yeah, I like it, I like to use two. Mm -hmm. Okay, so pat it all over, the rest all over my face. Mm -hmm. Yeah? I know I look a little pale, but I will fix that. It's a box, you know. And, um, it's 30, 36 amber, so that's the one I'm going to use. And if I can open it. I forgot. I forgot something. So I'm just quickly going to bake my under eyes with a Revlon. It's, it doesn't look that good. Revlon translucent powder. And I'm just gonna let it sit for a while. Yeah. So this this is how stupid you look for a while, but it's okay. And I'm quickly gonna do my brows. I'm using the uh, Anastasia Brow Definer in the shade Ebony. I think it's Ebony because I said Ebony in one of the videos, and then my friend said it's Ebony, not Ebony, and I was like, oh no, I just said it in a video. So here you go, Ebony, Ebony. No, I think Ebony sounds great. It's just a, you know, that is a struggle when English is not your main language. Okay. So, just going to... I haven't, uh, I haven't shaped my eyebrows for the longest time because I'm a lazy person. I have bush, I don't have defined eyebrows, I wish I could, but whenever I try to do defined, um, try like totally hard, hardcore defined eyebrows, I feel like I look weird. 
I don't feel like it, it suits me that well as it suits other people. Um, I think it's pretty, but I just, it's like it's not for me. And I'm trying it every single time and I regret it every single time and now it's going that way again. I never, I never just realized that that's not for me. Already I think this looks too bold for my face. So. I'm using the Real Techniques um, powder brush. Yeah, please, I'm actually your fix in the shade. Oh, in the shade MC42. It's a little brighter um, than what I usually go for, but it's because all the others I'm trying is too dark. And I'm just gonna add foundation, no, um, the powder, wherever I feel like I need coverage. And of course, it's the same places that I applied my foundation. <laughs> then the rest, I just try to put it everywhere. a lot more sharper than what I usually do. Wow, this brush, I need to get used to this brush. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a good one. Because I always um, get happy when I try this one because I always get surprised how, like, how, wow. It was actually that is done. I'm just gonna uh, use a lip liner from MAC. It's in the shade Spice. This is my favorite one for my skin tone. I I'm using the Roller Lash from Benefit. The Benefit Mascara Roller Lash. It looks like this. <clears throat> I'm just gonna put it all on my face. I got my hair cut, so it is very, very um, short. Mm. <laughs> it's very short, but yeah. So guys, this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. If you guys like it, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe as well if you want to see more videos from me. And yeah, I will see you guys in another video. See ya. <laughs> okay, that was like too happy. It was so weird. But yeah, I yeah. Hello guys. Oh no. Okay. Welcome to another new video. If you guys don't know me, my name is Vinam, one of the vloggers from my give on come and I am talking way too quick right now because I am in a rush. I think, I'm not sure, because I am really a slow person, so I don't know if, if that's gonna happen. Just look, thank you for watching and I have to go. See ya.